So today we tie another perch, a center fly, and this time we tie it on a Gamma Katsu Warm 34. Quite a long offset hook, usually not used a lot for fly fishing. What a great hook to um, make some jig flies. And what we do, I've got this pattern shown by a friend. We put some tungsten beads on top of it, if they work. It's always a little bit tight with the barb. One. Three tungsten beads, uh, four millimeter beads, just to give it a little bit of weight and to keep it down. And we start with our thread, just here, in front of it. Cut the thread. And uh, this fly is just made uh, with uh, some sunker strips. I like to keep them natural colors. So I'm using a bad sunker strips and uh, a natural color, maybe around that length. It's a bit too long, I'll shorten it in a minute. So the tails around that size. Shorten it later. So but what you do is you stick the hook point in it, the size you want, maybe like that. You stick it in here, in the middle. And what we also want to do is we want to get these end bit of the bucktail a little bit pointy just to give it a little bit more shape at the end but uh, so yeah so we put the sunker on the hook like that just have to make a new securing of the hook quite easy so that's how it looks like for now. Get that out of the way. And then tighten the beads a little bit in front. Split the sunker hairs and just give it one, two turns to fix the position. Come front again, one, two, three turns front, and going back again to secure the thread. And what we do then is we take some chocolate filler flesh. I don't know where my other colors are, so I'm just going for orange. And uh, to show it a bit better, I'll just cut a little bit loose. And we tie it in. Like that. Move the thread up front. Just 
give it some good rindings around the hook shank. Just in the gaps of the beats. Secure it. Cut it. And do wind a bit back to secure it even more. And now we can fold the sunk on top of it, like that. And I should just cut the lengths before we do that. So around here. Razor blades are really good for doing that. Perfect. And we do get a little bit of super glue. Something. Just tie it down in the end. Like that. wraps cut the thread secure it with some super glue As I mentioned earlier, it's a really, really easy pattern. So it's not looking really, really fancy, but you can fish it quite nicely. And it's giving a good chicken effect. So, what you can do is then just put on the eyes, really big eyes, in front of it. I like to work it with some really, really big eyes. <laughs> Think that out. 12 millimeter eyes, so really huge eyes for this little fly. But uh, just works. So the eye thing is a little bit tricky. Usually the best thing to do is this UV glue, but I don't have any here right now, so I have to do it with uh, some E6000. So we have a finished fly, a chick fly, with some tungsten beads, and uh, some nice shiny belly, and some big eyes, some chocolate fill off flesh, and uh, some strip, and that's uh, giving a really, really good perch fly.